Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. With prices soaring at the pump, filling up can be stressful. That's why Discover has your back with cash back. Use Discover to earn 5% cash back at gas stations and Target, now through June, on up to $1,500 in purchases when you activate. We know every dollar matters right now, but you can count on us. Get up to $75 cash back this quarter with your Discover It card. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash rewards. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Broadcasting great Larry King died Saturday at a hospital where he'd been admitted earlier this month due to COVID-19. He was 87 years old. Uh, Larry hosted Larry King Live on CNN from 1985 to 2010. Of course, uh, anybody in our business knows he was. He also had a great radio show for many, many years. I forgot that he did radio. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, were you a big Larry King guy? Um, I was getting started in the business because he was like the gold standard of interviews, yeah. you know, and he was very successful in our industry. You know, you put him up there like with when names were recognized, Howard Stern, Larry King, because they were just, you know, all over the place, you know, syndicated personalities. See, I was never huge into him, but then I, 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 I was always a fan of him just because he was so... He, he was a fan of wrestling, so he would, he, would, he would have wrestlers on from time to time. And I always thought that was cool. Or he'd show yeah. up to WWE events because he was a big fan of wrestling. So I was like, okay, I might not watch the show all the time, but I'm a fan of him just for that reason. Yeah, and he crossed industries like Howard as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Larry, of course, like you know, went on to do Larry King Live uh, from 85 to 2010. 15 years of being on television, a radio dude, because of his great interviews. And here's one where he was being interviewed with Conan O'Brien and said that he wanted to be frozen. Larry said he wanted to be frozen when he died. You plan to be cryogenically frozen. Why? Okay. I don't believe in an afterlife. I never made that leap of faith. So that means when you die, it's bye-bye, baby. So the only hope is to be frozen, and then someday they cure whatever you died of, and you're back. So I want to pay attention. When I go, I want to be frozen. Well, why are you putting the responsibility on me? <laughs> now I've got to go busting in if to the a, hospital or wherever, no, or Dodger Stadium, wherever you are. <laughs> i got to go busting in and say, everybody back. I'm taking them to the freezer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Do you think that's something that he legit told his family, or was it just him just being a jokester? I don't know. Can you be frozen? Uh, well, I mean, so, right now, the, the, we don't have the ability to thaw somebody out and, right. like, you, you supposedly ruin the body. It's not like, you know, some frozen peas where they taste almost as good. I mean, apparently, when you freeze somebody like that, they ain't coming back. But we, you know, we don't know if, in fact, in 100 years, 1,000 years, whatever, that they might have technology to actually thaw him out of being frozen and make him okay again. Like, I don't think that that's possible, but do you think his family heard that and is like, you know, we should honor him? Him and and freeze him. He had money, yeah. You know, um, he That'd made be really awkward. Might have put it in the will. See if there's a will, it's possible. He said, "Look, here's the thing. You want to get anything? You got to freeze me." Damn. I don't. I, I don't know. I know people believe in that. They really, really. They watch a little too much Star Trek and believe that you know uh, that you'll be thought out. Or Star Wars. I mean, then then uh, what's yes. that? Was, that was the, carbonite. Yeah, the yeah. carbonite. 
Slightly and, different. And there was a Star Trek The Next Generation episode where they did thaw a bunch of people out from our century, and they were in the 24th century, and they were able to fix them because, yeah. of, like Larry said, they had the technology to fix whatever ailed them. No, also a Captain America, wasn't he frozen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, that to me, is, <laughs> he was just frozen See, in a block proof. of ice. We, so we, history we, we really right. have we proof. proof. We do have Captain America. You're right. I forgot about documentary that. Captain America. Yeah, that's the best. Uh, <laughs> they should freeze Larry. And if you're Conan, do you think, oh, crap, are people going to bother me about this? Oh yeah, because yeah, I mean, he's obviously that oh, was just a yeah. fun moment on his show. But, you know. We played the, we played this clip. Yeah, people are gonna bother him. Say, did you have to go freeze Larry? <laughs> I mean, he still has a show. Do you think someone's gonna? Is it too soon for someone to come up and ask him that? Like Andy Richter? Well, no, one's him gonna, that? no one's gonna legit want him to do that. I know, but yeah. someone. Do you think Andy Richter will at least mention it? I feel like they would probably play that clip back as a way yeah. of paying tribute to show. I mean, it, it's clear that he had a great sense of humor. Yeah. Larry King did. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Larry did do a final interview, so the last time we heard him being interviewed was last year. And in this clip, he talks about doing his job. He did it for 63 years, and all those interviews he did, thousands of interviews, he, here's what he loved about it. That's the one thing that kept me going, is curiosity. My endless search to learn more never left me. And that has kept me going, and that might be one of the reasons I've gone this far in life is that I'm insatiably curious. Boy, I never thought I'd live this long. As Mickey Mandel once said, if I thought I'd live this long, I would have taken better care of myself. <laughs> That's a good point. I mean, I, I, I get mm -hmm. that completely. There's a lot of people of his generation and people that I know that, you know, they're like, look, why should I do this, this, and this? How many years do I have left? I'm going to yeah. have fun. Uh, and, here, and here he is. He had all those years left. And I heard like his, a lot of people are like, oh, why, why were your interviews always so good? At what, you know, he did such a great job. And he's like, I only interviewed people that I was interested in. Like, so he wouldn't take just interviews for the sake of doing an interview. Like, he would only talk to people that he had an actual curiosity about. And the good thing about him is he was interested in a lot of people. Oh, yeah, in all walks of life. I wonder how many, you know, you know, with us, Steve, we've done our share of interviews over the years. And you know me, I've forgotten some of them and, yeah. and I've nowhere done anything on the level of what he's done now, do you think he remembered them all because I, mean, I can't remember some of the ones I've done sometimes I think I just put like a little notes thing in my phone just that has like a list of all this because sometimes people ask you like hey who's been your favorite interview and I, I just I stare blank. at them and I'm like I don't even know who we like I don't remember I'm sorry like, I or who's the been time. the worst I'm like well thankfully we've really rarely had people be jerks I mean you've had we've had our share of awkward interviews or things along those lines but like yeah I I can't even imagine what he go what he thinks when people ask him that question. Unless he's just so quick, he's like, "I already have my stock answer." Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 and I do make him ups now when my family asks me because I can't remember. Anything. You just make up a celebrity. I make up, like, the, I make up a celebrity. And go, oh yeah, Prince. I interviewed, yeah, I interviewed <laughs> Prince. Really? I, or I usually pick somebody I know they like. Oh, okay. So because you just, you just yeah. effing with them? Well, because they want to hear a story about somebody they like. Like that's I mean, why I mean, why would they ask me who I interviewed and what was it like? It's for their own enjoyment about that person. Or they're just curious about what you do for a living because they're because they think it's a cool gig. But yeah, but if you think about it, if you ever asked, like, wouldn't you like if they if you found out somebody interviewed somebody you so liked, wouldn't you want to know more about what they were like? But then I'm just making up stuff. I know, but I'm doing it for their enjoyment. So if like you came up to me and we went work together, but I knew you like so I'm like, yeah. My favorite interview was with William Shatner. Yeah. He was a great guy. Yeah, but for you, I would pick somebody you like, a wrestler. I would have picked a wrestler. Who would you go with? Uh, well, I know you like Randy Macho Man Savage. I'd I, say, Steve, I got the interview with Macho Man. Before he died? No yeah, way. Was yeah. he cool? He was great, dude. <laughs> I mean, how you not going to love that about me? You're going to hate Rickard me? did that to me once. He yeah. said the interview about <laughs> Macho Man. Yeah. And he partied with him afterwards. <laughs> and I was impressed. Yeah. I, see, Sounds I don't about go, right. I don't go too far. I'm not going to say I party whenever I make the story outlandish. I'm just going to say he was a great dude. Yeah. You know, I mean... Chances are I probably did interview Macho Man Savage, and I just don't remember. Well, my favorite interview was with Larry King. I don't know if you guys remember that one. Uh, I went over to his house. Seattle, hello. <laughs> Collar. I can't believe you just lie to people about who you're interviewing. I can't remember anymore, and I'm tired of just sitting there blank. So I do. I just tell everybody I know who they're. That's I know, so great. Yeah, because I know who they like. You know, they'll be like, they'll go. Oh. So I just make it up and go. Oh. I like you can remember what they oh, like, but you yeah. can't remember the things oh. that you've actually experienced. Exactly. I, what if know. they want to hear it? What if they're like, hey, can I hear that interview? What oh, do you say? I, I, we I lost it years ago. I'll go, I'll go if I see it and find it, and then what I'll do is I'll go. Oh, dude, everything ten years ago because another dude was on the show. They got rid of it, which is true. They get rid of all of our That's stuff. That's not why I got rid of it. They changed. I'll give you a better. It's because we changed like web browser servers and everything. All right, from the I'll, purge. I, now I have a new excuse to give them when I can't let them hear the uh, Randy Macho Man. <laughs> but you remember that one? I don't make them up. <laughs>
<laughs> you were making up the excuse, Danny. Didn't you? and you've convinced yourself yeah. that the excuse was oh, true. Danny, I, I interviewed <laughs> Billy Joe. Danny, he's wow. a great guy. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, what was uh, your favorite thing about him? Well, he loves skateboarding. Oh, does he? I usually what I do is I pick things that they like. And I go, hey, Billy Joe likes that. And they go, he likes skateboarding, too. And it's a wonderful time. He really wonderful- loves Dion Pizza, Dion's Pizza in Albuquerque. He, he, does. Does. Oh, <laughs> he went to, he, dude. He also he loves had, MXPX. Yeah. Dude, I almost hung up on him. Because I said to him, Dion's is crap. And he goes, no, it is the best pizza in New Mexico. You've got to go there, BJ. I go, look, I, I know you travel everywhere. Really, Billy Joe? Of all the places really, you've Billy pizza, Joe. Has yeah. anybody caught that you lied? Or I'm no, trying to picture how what? are they going to catch me unless they don't know? Right. They he's, don't, got, he's got an excuse. They don't right. listen to the show. I'm just picturing if somebody did this to you, you would freak out if you found You'd out they're lying. You'd lose your mind. True. I, I, you see, would. I, I you betrayed me. Listen, I'm Trade trying to give trust. somebody a good time. <laughs> I mean, is it better than me going, I don't remember so anybody I interviewed? What, at that point, they go, okay, thanks for coming. So you're kind of like a, an escort, but for radio. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the, yeah. The, the radio experience. Radio's oh. best escort. Oh, yeah, whatever you like. Uh, you know. <laughs> oh, Who's whatever. your favorite celebrity? Oh, yeah, I talked to that guy. George yeah. Clooney? Yeah. I interviewed him about 10 years ago, but then, you know, got lost because yeah, of the guy. That's what it, the show. I, You know, if I don't know a person, <laughs> I pick somebody that's in the, you know, somebody that's pretty popular. You know, somebody like, you know, like if I know they like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I'll, I'll pick out somebody from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know Universe. Captain America? I, oh, I talked to him. Uh, Chris Evans. Now, I know Chris Pratt. See, he's my go-to. So, because, you know, like, hey, I talked to Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. I know I've done that. Mm. How about that, huh? Yeah, there. I actually did that one. That yeah. one you're not lying about. I'm not lying. So, there I go. But then, you know, <laughs> wow, that's really great. How about, there, have you talked to uh, Robert Downey Jr.? I go, no, but then I'll pick somebody else. So, you can't say you talked to everybody. Right. But then I talked yeah. to Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I do that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's Did you see what Piers Morgan's getting in trouble for though, because he put out a tweet about Larry King. Oh, dude! And it's a picture of him and Larry King from back in the day. And man, people are giving him a hard time because they're like, "This is such an insensitive tweet." He wrote, "Larry King was a hero of mine until we fell out after I replaced him at CNN, and he said that my show was quote like watching your mother in law go over a cliff in your new Bentley." He married eight times, so a mother in law expert, uh, but brilliant broadcaster and a masterful TV interviewer. Wow, that is, yeah, I mean, I think you just could say, hey, he was a great guy and be done with it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I feel like he must have felt like that was a fun story that maybe him and Larry King have laughed about. I don't know. Yeah, that's the problem is that it's out of context. But you see, when I interviewed Pierce, you know, Bro- Mor- Morgan, that's the way he was. He was always about just saying, I'll say Fair. my mind. I'll speak my mind. I don't care. <laughs> right. It was a great interview with Pierce Morgan. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Yeah, it was. I did find him a little condescending at times. He was rude, yeah. Yeah, he really, really was. <laughs> Where is that interview? Can we still have oh, it's, it? Oh, it's caught up in the A drive or the old, the, the, the whole whole drive or drive. It's the broken. whole drive. The whole drive broke. Yeah. <laughs> the warp drive yeah. broke. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Danny, I got to interview the entire band of uh, MXPX. They were great people. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. They said, you know what they said? They said if they had a child, they would name it Danny. Wow. Yeah, that's what they said. So uh, You're my hero, BJ. There you go, buddy. Hope you, hope you like those guys. Someone said, uh, my boyfriend worked backstage at concerts, and he's met a lot of celebrities, and he never tells people when they are jerks because he thinks it would be crushing their dreams. I get you, BJ. See, that's what it is. So instead of crushing their dreams, they go, oh, greatest guy in the world. See, I like sharing when celebrities are jerks because I don't, it doesn't hurt me. It makes me laugh. I think it's that, that to me is like, those are awesome moments. Like when Billy Joel was a jerk to me as a kid, I love yeah. sharing that story because it's like, I'm not going to be mad at him. He had a, he got off a plane. He was in a bad mood and a stupid kid wanted to talk to him. I don't blame him. Yeah. Or like when we had our time, yeah, one of my I, favorites I, I is, see that. is Reggie Jackson. We had to interview him and I was so <sighs> pumped because right. growing up in New York, Reggie Jackson was an idol. And I think, we all at one point asked a question to him that pissed him off. And I thought that was the funniest thing. Like each of us had a question and it like, he's like, well, and it triggered some negative memory in his life. And we, none of us meant ill will. We were just putting our foot, a collective oh, feet in our mouths. It was a beating. And I totally forgot we did that interview. Thank you, Steve. So yeah. I can act, tell people I actually talked to Reggie Jackson. I forgot about that. When in New York, Talking to a Yankees fan, you could tell them that you talked to Reggie Jackson. How about that? Yeah. I throw a little Billy Martin in there too. So I talked to them both. Why not? Really make it a great story. And Hank Aaron and Babe Ruth and all yeah. the baseball players from back in the well, day. Well, no one's going to believe that I talked to uh, Hank Aaron. Babe Ruth, yes. Why won't they believe that you talked to Hank Aaron? Well, because they probably just know that Hank was too classy for me, but they know I'm old enough that I could have talked to Babe Ruth. And mm-hmm. Babe, at that time, Babe Ruth, you know, he probably didn't know better and said, well, all right, I'll talk to you. So if you're around like a religious person, you tell them that you once interviewed Jesus? Oh, I, you know what? I'd rather say I interviewed Pontius Pilate and said Fair. nobody, because I could say, I had no idea. He was a quiet man. Uh, <laughs> you know I mean? You could do that kind of a thing. And no. You won't believe it. I once talked to Moses. Oh, well, you know.
Listen, you know, he only had nine commandments done at that point. <laughs> we flesh, yeah, I helped yeah. him flesh out who, the tenth one. Who helped him carry the tablets? He had two. I mean, there were three tablets. You only see him with two. I never get credit. Talked to him after I got off that ark. That uh, this guy Noah I interviewed. Oh, because okay. I was say Moses wasn't on the ark. But you know what? Hey, it's your it's your story. <laughs> after you yeah, talked to him after. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I uh, still can't you just lied. Hell? You lie to people. Yes, but it's I mean, the greatest I do, thing ever. It's small talk. What difference does it make? You know, it doesn't. You're absolutely right. Yeah, you might as well just make up everything. I mean, they walk away that's feeling spirit. good. You know, I mean, that's all that matters. All I want to do is give them a good time. Hey, Vicky, you know that that lead singer of Evanescence you like? Yeah. She's amazing. I, I interviewed her. I interviewed her twice, as a matter of fact. Wow. Yeah. You know what she says her favorite name is? Vicky. Okay, oh, good. Whoa. There you go. See, she feels better about her life. <laughs> um, oh, look at you. You're just like a giver. I'm just a giver, buddy. a giver. All right. Uh, speaking of giving, how about let's talk a little vaccines. There was a vaccine center that was having major issues with traffic. So what did they do? They enlisted the help of a fast food manager to handle it. All right. I'll tell you how this all worked out. Do that at 817 on The Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on the Rock ninety nine point nine KISW. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only twenty eight minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day. Backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound low. Terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Everything is better electrified. Like the guitar, toothbrushes, or cars. And Hyundai has the widest range of electrified vehicles on the market, including the first ever Tucson and Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. You can use electric when you want it or gas when you need it. It's your journey. Evolve it beyond the pump in the 2022 Tucson or Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. Visit your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. $20 $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well, you know, people are trying to get the COVID shot. And if you went online like I did and filled out that little, like, you know, how went, where am I in line? How yeah. am I? Yeah, they said no. So sorry, pal. Yeah, I know. I did just yeah. out of curiosity. It's like, wait, you leave us alone. Yeah. It's pretty much what they were about. <laughs> leave us alone. <laughs> yeah. We have more important things to worry about than you. So there was a, a serious traffic backup at a COVID vaccine site in South Carolina. And the mayor was like, how are we going to figure this out? And he said, you know what? I know who to call. The best expert at handling long drive through lines. And that would be the manager at a Chick-fil-A. Oh, yeah. It sounds ridiculous. But, dude, I mean, if just from how when we had Chick-fil-A first show up here to the northwest and just the insanity of the one in Tacoma, the one in, uh, what is that, Bellevue? Bellevue? Yeah. I thought for sure when they, they had the sign come, come into Puyallup, Chick-fil-A, right by where I live, I'm like, this is going to suck. Whoever the manager or whoever decided to handle the line control and how they do it is a genius because they do a great job over at the Puyallup one. It's always moving. And the Chick-fil-A manager in South Carolina, they did a great job with moving that COVID line. He, so they actually, he, he took them up on it. Yeah, he came out there and helped him get that line moving. Yeah, I mean, so uh, if did you... Did they give him a vaccine in exchange, I wonder? Was that no, like, oh, hey, no, 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 <laughs> take care of us, we'll take care of you? I would trade a vaccine for some of that delicious Chick-fil-A, to be honest with you. I'd be, they, so yeah, that would, you could bribe me for that. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So this is, I would wait. I'd be like, all right, you know what, I'll wait on the vaccine if you're going to give me some of those, you know, uh, chicken nuggets you guys have, or whatever you call them. Uh, I don't know what they I call them. I think they're them. just called chicken nuggets, Yeah, I think. Yeah, there you go. Little balls of chicken? Yeah, little balls of chicken. <laughs> balls of yeah. chicken. Yeah, so there you go. So uh, there you go, Chick Fil A. If you ever have any type of traffic issue around whatever you're trying to move traffic quicker, get a manager to Chick Fil A. They'll do it. I just think about all the different places we've had that have led to ridiculous lines. The first one I ever remember when I first moved out here was when 
when Krispy Kreme finally that showed That was up. the one. It was like, I, I don't, when did Krispy Kreme come out here? It had to have been like in the mid-2000s, I think. I think you're right, Steve. And yeah. people were waiting days, yeah. maybe even weeks, to get a Krispy Kreme here. And that, those lines were just ridiculous. And then the next one I think about is Sonic, when that one opened up in Puyallup. That was yeah. just oh, a yeah. mess. And then after that was it was uh, Chick-fil-A. It's so crazy because Krispy Kreme, at least in Issaquah, is not even there. They 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 nope. closed down, and they I remember the lines. And it was, if you told me, oh, this place is going to go out of business someday, I'm like, really? Yeah, okay. The, the whole health thing really screwed them up. Oh, well, not for me, it didn't. No, I mean, there's. I think there's still a Krispy Kreme in Seattle, and, uh, and yeah, I went to down by the stadiums is still there. Yeah, you can always get me a Krispy Kreme anytime you want. Our Pialp one is now a Panera. Which is cool because they kept the drive through so we get the drive through Panera. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Panera is nothing to, they're, they're good too, man. Mm. I know that Albuquerque, it was actually very much like Seattle in terms of that. Because like every time a big chain would come in, it was it was Chick-fil-A, mm-hmm. Krispy Kreme was huge, yep. and they used to give away a free donut if you walked into Krispy Kreme. Oh, I know. They know. It's like crack. That was like yep. our thing of like before uh, before class in high school, we'd go to Krispy Kreme and get our free donut and we wouldn't buy anything else. That's probably why they went out of business. Um, and then the other one for us was Chipotle. When Chipotle opened, there were lines for. I wonder if that was like here. I can't remember Chipotle having a crazy line. That I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's such a weird phenomenon to me. (laughs) It's just like we're going to go wait for three hours to get Chipotle. I'm trying to think of like what fast food place would have to open. uh, Part of me thinks if In N Out opened in Pacific Northwest, like in close to where Western Washington. There are still lines even in In N Out in California. You wait. It it doesn't matter. So yeah, I bet there'd be massive lines. I bet if Voodoo Donuts opened up around here, that would probably be pretty crazy. Yes. If they just opened up somewhere, I can't remember. I know they have one in uh, in Vegas and also in Florida, but I think they opened up somewhere else. And I'm not happy about that because did they come visit us yeah they were look they were scouting out locations here in seattle they still haven't i think picked a place at least uh, that we know of yeah it was like they were here they brought some with us they they were on the show with us they made a special kisw voodoo donut i thought for sure we were getting it one pretty awesome uh you think yeah, we, we ruined it you think they so they met us and were like never mind I, i'm pretty sure that, uh, denver. denver denver's got one now denver's got a voodoo before here's what i think steve though we have a Austin, lot of great texas donut. as well we have a lot of great donut shops here though mighty yo top pot i yeah, mean we got so, room for one more uh, i think there's a lot of donut shops like local ones that do what that voodoo does you know as far as making those fancy crazy donuts yeah, but I feel like Voodoo's got their own thing going. I hope you're... I, look, I'm not going to argue with you. I just try to think of, um, you know... Uh, I, t- I remember when I talked to the folks that used to run the mattress company that I that I would endorse, and they said they had a hard... They wouldn't go into California, parts of California, because there was already just a mattress company doing what they were doing, and well, they were like, we're just, we wouldn't be able to make well, it. Well, apparently Voodoo Donuts doesn't have an issue with that, because they're in Hollywood, California as well. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, at Universal. Apparently, they got something going on there because they're yeah. in uh, Universal. Voodoo Donuts? Last time I was at Universal. They, they were yeah. the one in Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in Florida and California, both wrong? of them. They were in the little Seattle? strip. Are we, are we not? not a, we don't have uh, roller coasters. Oh, yeah. that's what it is. And so, I don't know if we're much of a – we're not a super donut culture here. You know what I mean? It's because Dunkin' Donuts didn't fly here. They didn't make it. I mean, yeah, they were here but for the, a bit. Is, but, but, uh, but these are not like your – typical donuts and i think like those kind of like the the like the crazy donuts are doing just fine here legendary donuts epic donuts yeah you know, some of those well, they, uh, yeah you're right so may i so i wonder if it's a combo of that and maybe star sometimes starbucks you know where are the places maybe people just go ah you know what there's starbucks i don't want to compete with them watch no one else like friday they'll be like this just announced brand new location Woo! like for all we know they're still signing deals and making stuff happen and we're just speculating i know? don't like that denver got one before us you know i hate that denver got to be smoke pot legal before us I, I i hate denver how about someone went to the in and out in kaiser oregon four hour wait on saturday it oh, was gosh. insane yeah. four hours yeah you, it's going to be a wait anyway i mean because you would think okay I, I, when i get down to southern california i'd be like okay no one's going to no one's going to in and out it's because they've had it for years always a line yeah always a line in orange county i'm like i don't get this i mean you people know about this place speaking of coffee the new one in new mexico that's huge uh with huge lines dutch brothers coffee we, they finally got one in oh, new mexico we have one in puyallup and there were lines like crazy at first that's where did, so funny where did they start dutch brothers in dutch Deutschland. and deutschland <laughs> I, don't know, I think oregon I, yeah i think it is oregon I think in wow, Oregon. Wow, look at that. So Dutch Brothers is trying to give us... Yeah, yeah, Oregon. headquartered in Grant Pass, Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, All right. Pass, yeah. See, I'm I would wait in line. I'm I mean, a Woods coffee man myself. I'm not waiting in line for any coffee.
No. Well, you don't have to. I, I picked the coffee place that doesn't have a line. That's yeah. the best tasting coffee, if you ask me. <laughs> the one without a line. Yeah. <laughs> Although I do love myself a uh, Bigfoot job if I had to pick. Okay. I'm willing to wait two, maybe yeah. three cars deep. You're a job. You're a Bigfoot guy. Yeah. Danny's a job. And also, you like Dutch Brothers. I'm a Woods guy because that's a. I think that's a Bellingham company, and they opened one up in Bell, uh, Bellevue Square. Someone said they'd wait in line for uh, White Castle if they came out here. Oh yeah. That'd be yeah. a big deal. I've experienced White Castle. Thank you. Unless I'm drunk. If I'm drunk, sure, I'll have them. Oh, drunk. I don't We're think buying anybody a briefcase ha- of them. Yeah, I don't think, is anybody <laughs> having White Castle sober? I used to. I Here would. at the station, remember we had the frozen White Castle burgers in the, the little market that was in our kitchen? Oh, yeah, we did. They Gosh. only kept them in stock because I was buying them. I feel like, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> so mean, you were the one. That's I the, was. You, that's the only way you're going to get anybody. Is I think that if you're going to do a White Castle, why wouldn't you just go to any other fast food restaurant and get a burger? Just get like one of their regular burgers at that point. Because they're teeny tiny and make your hands look huge. <laughs> okay, I didn't that's realize that was a reason. thing. That's not my reason. I just like how greasy and tasty they are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so there's a grease factor that you can't find in any other burger, huh? Well, I like all types of burgers. And the White Castle is just one of many burgers that I would like to enjoy. Yeah. See, I've had a White Castle burger... And if you told me, all right, we're going to get burgers, and there's a White Castle option or any fast food restaurant, take McDonald's, Burger King, I am going to go to them all the time. Again, my choice on where I eat, too, is also based on the line. Oh, <laughs> like, okay. There are times where I'm like, you know, I really want frugals. And I show up, I go to oh, yeah. Parkland. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I, I, I get off the exit, and I see that there's like 10 cars in line. I'm oh, like, forget about it. Yeah. You know, Jack in a Box sounds pretty good, <laughs> yeah. too. And then right across the street, there's a Jack in a Box. There's two cars in line. I'm going with the Jack. I'm going with the place that has the shortest line. I'm really yeah. not that loyal. <laughs> to any company yeah. that the less i have to wait the more it's going to taste better yeah there, there you go and therefore uh, i'm with you on that i mean i suppose if white castle had a shorter line i don't know i might still go to the place with the line i, I don't, don't know man I, don't, I know people like to give white castle a hard time i think their burgers are just fine yeah i like yeah, them and they taste I, great the next morning yeah i think um <laughs> i think you're using your stevie tomatoes movie rating system oh, on burgers fair burgers a burger no not Ooh. white castle. Well, I know there's better. Bur- it's like pizza, no. though. No, 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 no. I'm, I am, I am saying I'm fighting. I'm the only one fighting. I don't think White yeah. Castle deserves to be called a burger. I don't know what, what? that is. What? Well, what are we calling? It? Yeah, what the I hell? Like to, I would like to You're say call it with a taco bread. or something. I would like to call it something disparaging, but I won't insult the dogs or the horses. I was going to throw in there. Wow, wow. that's rude. Uh, because I feel like dog meat or horse meat. Says White burning. Castle's great. Those little steam burgers are awesome. I get it when I go to Vegas. Not drunk either, yeah. BJ. I, I, they're yeah. steamed. Yeah, I don't know. I oh, don't that's know. cool. So you guys don't even that's know that's why the bread is so warm. Yeah, delicious. Okay, fine. I mean, again, if I'm drunk, sure I'll have them. Just I, I, I will put that caveat out there. I'll eat anything drunk. Yeah, well, show me the great movie of Harold and Kumar going to Wolf Coffee or whatever Woods Coffee. Wolf Coffee. Wolf yeah. Coffee. <laughs> okay, I Someone don't know said why I like Wolf Coffee. I decided. Yeah, yeah. Why the hell are we picking on Woods Coffee? We're talking about burgers. Woods doesn't want to be part of this conversation. I, they were like, look, there's clearly we're, we're, something yeah. special about White Castle. They did a whole movie about it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, maybe another fast food joint that's got a movie uh, title. In the I, title. You're right. I, uh, I, I can't. I can't, and therefore, uh, I'm going to give you this argument that you like White Castle. And by why, why would I try to tell you you don't like White Castle? I'm just telling you I don't. One person says they're technically sliders. Yeah. True. That is true. Mm-hmm. I mean, but, I, I appreciate that they've introduced the slider lifestyle, but again, uh, I suppose that's the only reason is that they're sliders, I guess. Not like novelty or something. Yeah. Someone said, uh, speaking of food, has BJ, did BJ check out the dicks on Mercer Island when the truck was there? No, I didn't. What the hell, dude? I didn't go. For, I didn't know it was there. That oh, was okay, problem. That's, that's why I didn't. I mean, I, 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 no one told me. Nobody. I suppose I could have followed them like you're supposed to, but I didn't do it. Uh, well, we're talking about food, and there is this new study about the top comfort foods, and uh, that people. White just, Castle. Yeah. White Castle is not on the list. This, of course, is all. I mean, look, we are comfort fooding our asses off even more so than normal because of COVID. So uh, I am uh, surprised at the number one. Oh, no, no. Noodles and butter. <laughs> Noodles and as he sings it. It's a Casper Baby Pants song. Is it really? Yeah, that's um, funny. Okay. okay, so this is going to be your life. Yes, you're just now. We're going to now. You're going to be giving us baby stuff. Yeah, yes. baby relates. This is yeah. really because uh, Noodles and Butter is not on the list, Steve. I is like it Noodles not? and Butter though. Oh. That's I'm your a child. top. That's your top comfort food well, for you. A, the other day we had it. And I was in a very good mood because of it. Okay, I feel you on that Noodles one. Noodles and Butter, Meatloaf, and butter. Meatloaf, uh, Rev, not on the list. It's Damn quote, it. pot roast is number five. That's not anything but like that. Yeah, what well, are you talking about? That is completely different. Meatloaf and pot roast are not the same thing. Yeah. Aren't they like, what is pot roast? Maybe I don't know. Not what it meatloaf. Is. Yeah, it's like, not. What is it? Like a roasted pot roasted? roast is a roast, and meatloaf is ground beef, usually. Yeah. With yeah. bread. What's pot roast look like? There you go. Uh, 
Oh, that pyros looks good. It's, it's more like it's yeah, more meaty. There's a lot uh, more going on with a meat. Ah, uh, so it's, it's okay. Turned into yeah. a loaf. Well, pyros yeah. is number five, and meatloaf is not. Boo! Pyros is delicious, though. Yes. Yeah, okay. it is. I never said it wasn't. But I would pick a meatloaf over that for comfort food. Yes. Me too. Oh uh, yeah, meatloaf did make the top ten for comfort food. Pizza, pizza did not make the top ten for comfort but you food. Could, you They're thinking of like the the like the homemade stuff. I bet like mac and cheese. Yeah, mm. mac and cheese is a good pick. Let's see if I can find mac and cheese good on the answer. list. Good answer, good answer, good answer. I cannot so find it on the list. So, Danny, whatever logic you're using, it is wrong. What about mashed potatoes? Number nine on the list. Nice, good nice. one. Thank you. Yeah, but guys, that's number nine. We're not winning this. It's going to go over to the Smith Ice family. cream. Ice cream is not on the list, wow. even though there is a dessert on the list. How ice cream didn't make it, I don't know. I was about to ask if they had any desserts, because I'm going to say cake or cupcakes. Cupcakes or cake, not on the list, everybody. Well, Pumpkin pie. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> there is a, ki- a type of cake on the list, but it's not like a cake that you would think of a no cake. No name cake. No name cake. Yeah, that's exactly it, Rev. That's the one. It's not it's really a, a cake. No, it's a, it's, <laughs> a, it's, a, it's a Google search done across the country, and as much as I love no name cakes, it did not make the a list. Cake mm-hmm. pop. Cake a pop. cake pop, uh, even though those are good, did not make the list. <laughs> I call it a kind of cake, even though nobody thinks of it as a cake. But cheesecake. Uh, there is cake in the name. Cheesecake. Good try, but no, that is not on the list. As a matter of fact, if I'm looking over here, only one dessert made the list. Hmm. And it's, it's pancake. Pancake uh, is not a dessert, but yes, it did yeah, not make the list. A dessert, but some I know you it. can have it as a dessert, but nobody calls pancakes dessert. Everything can be dessert if you just believe. Yeah. <laughs> you know something, guys? If we ever go on cake. Family Feud, I will not pick you as the family. <laughs> a boo <blue> cake. <laughs> A fruit cake? You're close. Boo cake. <laughs> a boo cake, yes. It's the scary one. Uh, to there's go. fruit involved with this cake, but it is not a fruit cake. By the way, you're missing the other nine things. I, I know, know, but you, you got us all about the cake. Yeah, right we're now. all in cake. All now. About the the band, band cake. cake. About that cake. The band cake. The band cake. Yes, we eat Number that. 10, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the band cake. So I said that fruit's involved, cake's involved. Donuts. Strawberry shortcake? You are a winner, Miss Victoria. That's right. too specific. Who has this, strawberry yeah. shortcake anymore? Strawberry shortcake's made with biscuits, I think. Well, I or know, at least but, the way I've made huh. it. But, they, but cake is in the name, yeah. I said. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's a biscuit. It's that's like a sponge cake. It's very it? spongy. I've, I've yeah. seen them spongy. both ways. Oh, have you? Yeah, because we used to serve them at the restaurant oh, I used to work at. Mm. Yo, if someone it. walked in right now at a strawberry shortcake, I'd be a very happy camper. <laughs> See? That's a <laughs> yeah. number 10 comfort They food. are good. Wouldn't disagree with that. You guys have not picked uh, the first three, four. You, haven't per- you guys haven't done the top four. French fries. French fries is not on the list, ladies and gentlemen. Fish sticks. <laughs> Tater tots. Fish sticks and tater tots are not on the list. Chicken gentlemen. nuggets. Boom. Chicken Jeez, nuggets good answer, are good answer. not on the list, oh, ladies I and hate gentlemen. This I hate this but yeah. you are close with chicken nuggets that half of that's on the list. Grilled chicken cheese. Parmesan. Right, nuggets. Hold on. You all yelled out an answer. Danny, what was your answer? Grilled cheese. Danny's a winner, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Number one on the list. Yeah. What was your answer, Vicky? After I was going to say chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. Not on the list, Steve. Oh, your answer? Chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles is number three on the list. Nice. Steve. Oh, good call. <laughs> boom, boom. All right. I'm in. All right. So, uh, Rev, what was your, when I said chi- yeah, chicken's on the list, what would you say? Oh, I just said nuggets. Nuggets. Again, you said, yeah, you said chicken yeah, fried yeah. steak. Said chicken nuggets was nuggets. Ooh, chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak is not on the list, but you are so close. Steak? Oh, fried chicken. There we go. Oh, how did chicken. we miss that? Okay. How did you miss that? Because you're not family feud players. That's how you missed mm, that. Huh? Uh, chili was at number four. Which I, I love. Like I mean, chili's chicken. good, but I don't know if I'd put that as my top comfort food. No, no. I, I get very disappointed when like I have like someone's like, "Oh, what do you want to have?" And they're like, "Oh, we're making chili." I'm like, "I don't know." I feel like that's just like a side. Uh, you know why? Because they pair it with cornbread usually. Oh, yeah, that's a comfort. Oh, oh, number six. Yeah. Can you tell me why number six? I mean, I don't know. I guess it's good baked potato soup. Oh, so good. oh man, yes. Wait, I don't think I've had baked potato soup. It's oh. good. Oh. Is, it the cre- is it creamy? Oh yeah, it's creamy. They put the bacon in it, cheese. So it's basically clam chives. chowder without. Clams and, ba- and it has yes. potatoes. Yeah, you're not wrong in area. Yeah. Oh, I think I've called that cream of potato soup. I think, I think they do more of the baked potato when they add more of the fanciness, like the chives and the okay. bacon. And- I've never heard it called baked potato soup, but I'm going to have to give it a shot. Oh, it's so good. Chicken and dumplings was also on the list. Oh, those are so good. And of course, the classic. When you're feeling sick, what's the classic? Chicken noodle soup. That's the one. There's a lot of chicken on this list. Mm-hmm. I think big chicken uh, has a part of this comfort one. food, I guess. Big chicken made yeah. it happen. Yeah, only pot roast got on the list. Meat Wolf got screwed. <laughs> well, you do not want to mess with me, Loaf. I think they should put him on the list. Uh, he's pissed. You do not yeah, that's 
with me. Maybe that's why they didn't put them on the list. They're so like, not wait. like eggs and like, I don't know. Eggs Egg and I don't know. Um, I don't know. It was hash number browns. 12. Uh, but that's all Abbott and oh, Costello those, anyway. Those like stuffed hash browns at Sherry's. Stuffed oh, hash so browns good. did not make the list, nor did eggs make the list. French at least. toast? Uh, French toast did not make the list. Just the chicken and waffles. Uh, did I tell you chicken and waffles? Yes. Yeah. I guess that. Yeah, so that was... Uh, <laughs> good job, man. So no s'mores? No s- s'mores? Yeah, that's a Is comfort t- food. When was the last time you had s'mores? Uh, last year. <laughs> camping that, that can't be a comfort food then if you only have it once a year i was comforted when i had okay. it i can't talk to i like this texture peanut anymore. butter and jelly yeah. uh pb and j didn't make the list but i'm Steve's not I, but breakfast. it's weird yeah. it is every yeah. day and i would agree that is a comfort food yeah right that mm-hmm. puts you in a good mood um all right friday steve guess what happened he did get this one wrong <laughs> what's the term for mass per unit volume it's term mass per unit Metal. No. Uh, 69. No. Pass. Did you just uh, call me a mess? Yes. Oh, you sure did. Mm-hmm. That's really not nice. No. Uh, the answer was density. Yes, it does. You want a shot at beating Steve? Okay, you got it. 206 421 Rock. We're playing Beat Migs. We'll do that at 847 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. If I call Travis, will I actually see him or someone who works for him? Absolutely. When you come in to see my to my office, uh, when you first call in, my staff will try to help you with with any basic questions that you have. Uh, I can give you a call back, uh, but they'll schedule usually try to schedule you for a free consultation with me, the attorney, and I'll meet with you personally. We'll talk about your the basics of your case and i'll take you through a question and answer session that usually last an interview that usually lasts about 30 minutes uh, where we'll get the basics of your financial situation i can answer your questions and we can talk about whether bankruptcy makes sense your uh, your non-bankruptcy options uh, and how bankruptcy could affect you what the process is thanks travis if you have more questions about bankruptcy you can reach out to travis anytime at choose the right chapter.com that's choose the right chapter.com. Thanks for listening. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound low. Terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. $20 million. $19 million. $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com.